please welcome this week's special guest, Ian. <laughs> Claude, what is Ian to you? Well, this is Ian, and um, he's keeping uh, my motorbike in his shed, and my wife doesn't know that I've actually got a motorbike. <laughs> uh, Jordan, how do you know Ian? Uh, this is Ian. We used to regularly drive to a field together and howl at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and, David, what is your relationship with Ian? This is Ian. He is the taxi driver who cooked me a fried egg sandwich on the engine of his car. <laughs> so there we have it. Lee, where do you want to start? Well, we could do with one more, cos none of them are sounding very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jordan, why, why would you bark at the moon? Because... full moon, you know? Like, that's what you do. Oh, so you would only... No, you, would only you, do no, you don't. <laughs> you would only do the full moon. Yeah, it'd be a where, full moon. Wh where would you do this? Um, a field. How old were you? Said, uh, four. <laughs> My mum was there yeah. and um, some of her friends. How, how, how old are you? I'm 25. A and do you know how old he is? Uh, Roughly. Four. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just have to glance there, Jordan, just 40. to check. 40. <laughs> so he's, he's 15 years older than you. So when he, you were four, he was 19, right? What's your yeah. relationship with this man? <laughs> he's like my mum's mate. He's your mum's friend, and so your mum would howl at the moon? Yeah. Why? why? Yeah, my mum loves the moon. In so fact, it sounds like you all love the moon. Yeah. <laughs> my mum's name's actually Emma Luna because she likes the moon. Right. <laughs> Hang on, well, she, she changed her name to that. Yeah, I think she's called Emelina. Emelina and what's Bolton. his name? Um, well, Ian... Do you want a minute to think? <laughs> it's Ian Howell. Ian, Ian Howell? Ian Howell. Yeah. <laughs> Ian Howell and Emelina. And did you have a moon-associated name at that time? I wanted one. But you, you weren't old enough to get your moon you name. You hadn't earned your moon name. They just yeah. kept calling you son. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not ready yet, son. How many people were in the field cowling at the moon? Um, I don't know, it was dark. Okay. <laughs> how long are you doing this? How, like, how long are you howling at the moon for? You how long night? for? Yeah. Just until we felt better. Better? <laughs> what, what was up with you? It's very, no, it's very therapeutic howling at the moon. But yeah, therapeutic for what? What was up with you? Well, you know, <laughs> you just, you... The, the month gets a bit like. Yeah, oh, you, you know? look at your hands, they've gone really hurry. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had a quite a hippie upbringing, you know. It's just getting a, a one with nature. So it's getting one with nature. It was a bit of a hippie. Feeling the energy. How long? We just had a thunder moon, actually. Very powerful. You've just had one. Yeah, recently. We have just had. Yeah, one. we did. I haven't personally had a thunder, thunder moon. A thunder it's not like a, moon. Moon. <laughs> it's like a, it's not like a dish. It, it, I, I thought... had thunder moon last night. It was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I had curry last night. I had thunder moon this morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who else would you like to question? Claude, why don't you remind us of oh, sorry, Claude, uh, yes. how you know Ian? Well, I know Ian because I first met him uh, about a year ago yeah. um, and he came to fix a leak in my house. In the course of conversation, um, he said that he's got a motorbike. And actually, I've, I've always wanted a motorbike. Right. Have you never owned one before? No, I haven't. OK. No. So you've, you've never ridden one? I probably have on holiday, but not really. All right. um, what sorry. bike is it? What bike have I actually bought? Yes. Um, well, I'm glad you've asked me that. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, it's called... I don't know how familiar you are with bikes. Well, let's, assume he, let's assume he is. OK. <laughs> it's, it's called a fat boy. Oh, good. Fat it's boy. A, it's a Harley Davidson. And when did you take your test? No, I haven't taken the test. That, that, that's, that's why the bike's in his shed. Because you can't drive it? Not yet. So but you I, brought... but I can start it up. <laughs> why have you told you why? I don't think she'd approve. Well, do you think this is not going to give it away a bit on national <laughs> television? <laughs> Look, sooner or later, the truth must out, and it's, it's, I've chosen tonight. You've got a Harley Davidson that you're just okay. happy not to ride around. Well, I'm not happy. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more of a status symbol, do you know what I mean? It's only a status symbol if it's outside the shed and yeah. your stats on it. It's not a status symbol if it's someone's shed and no one sees it. Yeah, it's like right, you might as well have bought a rake. <laughs> <laughs> and you go and visit the bike? I do. What do you have a look at it? Well, what I do is I tell my wife I'm going on a business meeting yeah. and uh, that gives me a few hours of leeway and I go and uh, go to the shed, and what do you start do? up the bike, feel the throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think your 
wife's going to say when she's watching this programme? Apart from, why did you go on that? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is that, um, actually, she's in the audience now, so it's even She's here tonight. She is. <laughs> Well, this will be nice for her to find out. How much did you pay for it? Well, the thing is, I get... <laughs> the list price was around seventeen thousand five hundred. And how much did you I pay? I said that quickly, so it doesn't kind of get yeah. too much. And uh, how much did you pay? I darling? paid a, a shade under fifteen grand, which I think you'll find is a very good price. Why did they give you two and a half grand off? Because you, you're, you're yeah, clearly like, a rich. Because uh, uh, that's the way I do you deals. You just do. You're just good at doing deals. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way I roll. <laughs> Now, when you do come to ride this bike, what will your attire be? Will you be wearing leathers? Yes, I've already bought my leathers. You wear the leathers when you go to look at it? Yeah. You don't. <laughs> I do. But the thing is that, it, with me, it's just that I just wanted to have the wind in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about uh, David? Remind us again, please, David. This is uh, Ian, and he, he's the taxi driver who cooked me a, a fried egg sandwich on the uh, engine of his car. And where were you going from and to? I was going from a holiday home in uh, the West Country, in Cornwall. Your holiday home? Uh, no, I temporarily had legal access to the holiday. <laughs> quite a common... I don't know what it, the name of it in contract law would be, but it's like when you go on holiday to a holiday home, it's not your holiday home, but you're allowed to be there for a bit if you give them money. It's right. called a rental. <laughs> rental? That's right. <laughs> you're a rental home. In, uh, I was... And then I was leaving it to go to a railway station. What station was it? <laughs> Bodmin Parkway. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean... definitely started the word Bodmin, not knowing how that was going to end. <laughs> And well, he yeah. drove you to Bodmin Parkway? Yes. And when did the fried egg, when did that come out in conversation? Yeah. Uh, uh, when we'd arrived at the... You'd already at arrived. But didn't you have a train to catch? Yes, but the train... Yes. ..had been cancelled. Ah. Why? And then... Why was it cancelled? I can't remember. But, but it, it does sometimes. You... Believe me, that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Could he not just drive you into Bodmin and find a yeah. cafe? I think he's proud of his uh, egg on engine cooking skills. How did he, how did he do I it? Think he did he have a frying pan on the engine? No. Uh, aluminium foil. So he, he has this with him. Did he... Oh, did he didn't have any of this with him. No, no. Yeah. He mimed it. You've got. <laughs> <laughs> and where did he find the egg? He had it in the car. He had an egg in the car. Oh, that's weird. I tell you what, he didn't just have one egg. He had, I think, I would estimate between three and six. <laughs> Where did he keep these eggs? Yeah. In, the in an egg box. No, but where was the egg box? <laughs> was it in the boot? No, I think it was in a bag in the boot. A bag in the boot? Boot, bag, egg box, eggshell, <laughs> white yolk. You forgot an egg from me. For a man like you, David, it seems socially awkward to be standing round yeah. the engine. With a bit of tin foil and... But isn't that more reason of... that it happened? Any normal people like us would just go, you're all right, mate, and walk <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's still out. Well, I suppose I'd better forget the train and just have an egg Don't sandwich. forget the train. I'm <laughs> waiting. I've got to wait there an hour. Yeah, I'm not trying to sort of forge a new life with Ian at Bodmin Parkway car park. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got four <laughs> eggs. That'll see us through the next day or two. <laughs> so... We need an answer. Lee's team. Is Ian Claude's motorbike minder, Jordan's moonlight mate, or mm. David's fried egg friend? What I don't like about David's story is, is the idea that there was another... I live in the southwest. That there was another train in an hour. It, they're not that that <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, that one's a day. There's, there's, like, three trains on that line from Bodmin. You've been done. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. OK, what about uh, Claude and the motorbike? The idea that he wouldn't tell his wife... Yeah, I think that's ..that silly. he's bought a motorbike, I actually do buy. Oh, I really? buy that bit. The bit I don't buy is that he chooses a light entertainment show that's been yes. nominated for three BAFTAs <laughs> we've never won... <laughs> to, <laughs> ..to tell everybody, mainly his wife, that that is what he's done. All right, now, what about Jordan mm. and Howling at the Moon? I'm liking this I story. still don't know why. I, he said it's to make him feel better, but... No, I had hippie parents and I had to do a lot of weird stuff. What did you have to do? Oh, we had to go and sit in circles and chant and shout in, in like, communes in Scotland. Yeah, really? so I had to do weird stuff this like is, that. Am I the only one that just... We all had to go shoplifting at <laughs> Fresh? <laughs> <laughs> I am thinking Jordan. OK, we'll go... Should we go for Jordan? Are you going for Jordan? Oh, it could be Claude. Look at his little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Just as I said Jordan then, oh, you're about to turn. Claude, Claude, literally. <laughs> like, like the, the evil man with the white cat on the... <laughs> literally like... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Just because of the menacing evil smile, I think we should change it to Claude. Are you going to go with Claude? Claude, yeah. smile. All right, victory. Ian. Please reveal your true identity. I'm Ian, and Jordan and I used to howl at the moon. <laughs> Before you were howling at the moon, or did you change yes, your name? I was always called Ian Howl. <laughs> I, I knew it. Let's hear the howl. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes, Ian is Jordan's moonlight mate. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you.